Hey guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is the second edition for the most interesting snails, also named by my mom, Snazzy Snails. So it's springtime, there's a lot of flowers outside, a lot of colors, a lot of beauty going on right now outside, so I thought it would be fitting to go over the top five most beautiful snail species. The last one on this list is the most beautiful snail by vote. This list also isn't like ranked or anything for like, the late least to most beautiful, it's not anything like that. Of course, a couple of disclaimers. First, I am in no means an expert. Snails and studying them is kind of more of my hobby. It's not something that I am a professional in or anything like that. The links for all of the, the articles and stuff I read will be in the description below. If I can't fit all of them on there, I'm going to try to link a Google Docs to it instead. Also, I am not good at pronouncing things. I've been at my computer for a while now trying to figure out some of these scientific names for these species. They're probably going to get butchered, I'm not going to lie to you, so just putting that out there, um, I'm doing my best. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some of the most beautiful snails. Fluguus virginius, also known as the candy cane snail, is a tree-dwelling snail found in the Caribbean islands of Hispaniola. And these snails have some of the most striking shells, especially for a land species. The background of the shell is white, and there are typically three to six spiraling colors going up the cone. The background of the shell is white, and there are typically three to six spiraling stripes of various colors. These colors usually include black, brown, pink, green, purple, or light yellow. And what's really cool is that the color stays on the shell even after the snail passes away. And unlike most animals that lose their color throughout their life, these snails have the ability to maintain this bright coloration throughout their entire lives. Like other snails, the colors are produced by pigment glands found in the mantle. These are called chromopores. The reason that the color stays for their entire life is because the chromopores are active for the snail's entire life. The shells have also been found in midden heaps in the Dominican Republic, indicating that it was a food source for the indigenous people. And because of their beauty and unique color, early Europeans exploring Hispaniola brought the shells back to Europe. And because of these Europeans bringing them back to Europe, these snails have been depicted in scientific illustrations since 1684, making the candy cane snail the first neotropical land snail to be depicted in scientific illustrations. The downfall of their beauty comes with overcollection of these shells. Unfortunately, they are hunted to near extinction because people want the shells. The collection of these snails are now illegal thanks to poaching and near extinction. So the candy cane snail is impressive thanks to its whirls of colors going up its shell, but have you ever seen just a pure leafy green snail before? Papustula pacarima, or the emerald green snail, is a stunning snail that lives in the rainforest on Manu Island in Papua New Guinea. Its shell is a vivid leafy green, usually with a yellow stripe spiraling up the shell. The calcium carbonate of the shell on the snail is actually yellow, not green. This unusual color comes from a layer of proteins that encapsulates the entire shell. Indigenous people of this island are reported to use these shells as decoration or jewelry. Like most on this list, this snail has been over collected and over harvested for the jewelry trade. Environmental scientists have confirmed that these snails are only located in 12 or 13 areas of the Manu's Island. The emerald green snail is listed as near threatened by the IUCN and in sites. To prevent further depletion in the population, Papua New Guinea prohibits the exportation of these snails or their shells. So, so far we have gone over a couple of land snails that are very, very beautiful, but let's go underwater and see what that has to offer us. Caliostoma annulatum, also known as the purple ring top snail, the blue ring top snail, or the jewel top snail, which is the name we will be using for simplicity's sake, are stunning sea snails found in the areas of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of North America. This snail has a base of gold or orange with spiraling markings of pink or purples, and the whorls are marked by distinctive bumps or ribs. Even the bodies of these snails are beautiful with a pinkish orange base and brown spots. Top snails usually live in kelp forests and even inhibit a specific part of a kelp stall. The jewel top snail's preferred area is the middle of the kelp forest on the midsection of the stipe. According to the Monterey Bay Aquarium, the snails know their niche and will climb back up to their spot if knocked down. So they are some pretty interesting creatures. As far as I know, they are not endangered in any way, probably because their shells do not remain those beautiful colors after they pass away. Now let's go back up to the surface and talk about 
not as colorful of a snail, but still a very beautiful snail. And this one is in the pet trade if you don't live in the US. All right, I do not know how to pronounce this. I am doing my absolute best, I promise. Limocalaria Athiops Nigeria is a smaller species from the genus Limocalaria from Africa. It is a giant African land snail. I believe they are in the pet trade, but in the US you cannot have those. So if you are not in the US, I believe they are in the pet trade. While these snails may not be as colorful as some of the other snails on this list, they do have some very, very remarkable markings and great contrast. Their shell is a very dark brown or black base color with yellow to red stripes on its first whorls. In juveniles, this black is almost a very deep purple, kind of an eggplanty type purple. It's very pretty. Fortunately, the snail is of least concern for conservation and are very, very easy to breed in captivity. So no worries there. Unfortunately, because they're not super rare or anything, I couldn't really find much information on them uh, since they're so common. Uh, there's not a ton of scientific information. But that is pretty much all I have for that snail because there, like I said, was, was not a lot of information, but but I just, I had to have them on the list. I had to. All right, so we are at number five. So what is the world's prettiest snail? Polymita picta, better known as the Cuban painted snail, was crowned mollusk of the year in 2022. I will have the competition site linked in the description for you if you wanna go check out other mollusks that have won that award or vote in the future. This year's is already over but I'll, I'll have that underneath the like reference links, so. This snail won this international competition by 62% of all votes. This species is very commonly known for its colorful shell polymorphism. The colors on the shell can range anywhere from white to yellow to reds. It's very pretty. <laughs> The color of the shell varies from species to species, but also from individual to individual. The colors that each individual has depends on their diet. But why are these individuals so brightly colored? Don't you think that would be a little counterproductive? But it turns out that it's actually thought to ward off predators by confusing them. Unfortunately, this snail has become endangered due to its beauty. Poachers heavily over harvest to make jewelry or trinkets out of these shells, and it has totally devastated the population. In efforts to protect the species from extinction, Cuban legislation prohibits the export of these snails or their shells unless for scientific purposes. Not only are the Cuban painted snails beautiful, but they also play a very important ecological role. For example, they are an important food source for some of the native and rare species. And by eating the moss and fungi on trees, the snails keep those trees healthy. This includes coffee plantations as well. Since the Cuban painted snail won Mollusk of the Year in 2022, its genome is being sequenced in hopes to find the key to its beauty as well as protect it from extinction. So there you have it, five of the most beautiful snail species in the world. I would be more than happy to do a second one of this one. There were a lot of pretty snails. I do have more of these planned in the future. You guys really seem to enjoy them and that makes me so happy. If you have a topic um, that you want me to go over with snails, let me know in the comments down below. I already have alien-like snails on the list and funny looking snails and most interesting snails coming up for you. So keep an eye on all of those. I'm trying to space them out a little bit. And of course, give this video a like for the algorithm. All of my links, including my Instagram, my art account, and my Facebook group will be in the description below, as well as all of my references and the link to the Mollusk of the Year thing. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are into this kind of content or really any animal kind of content. I upload every single Saturday at noon Eastern Standard Time, but you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember that. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.